Jeremy Clarkson shared his U-turn on Brexit as the self-proclaimed Remainer fumed about this state of the UK. Jeremy Clarkson has been a vocal Remainer since the UK voted to leave the European Union in 2016, repeatedly voicing his affection for Britain's part in the EU. However, the Clarkson's farm star now appears to have had a change of heart and urged Prime Minister Keir Starmer to do the same. Writing in his new column, the 64-year-old explained, When I lived in London's Notting Hill, I was a Remainer, and so were all my friends. It literally didn't occur to us, as we sat down there in our agreeable houses, eating agreeable food that someone might vote to leave. Today, I'm surrounded by farmers and plasters and brickies and butchers, and all I hear, all day long, is that there's too much immigration. But if they say this out loud, or if they go on a march, they are told by the London elite that they are far-right extremists or racist thugs. For the most part, they're not. There was a time you'd have called them the salt of the earth. But Sir Starmer doesn't seem to have grasped this, he added in the sun. It comes after Sir Starmer said he is working to build closer ties with the EU and described Boris Johnson's Brexit deal as botched. Elsewhere in his column, Clarkson moaned that the country is falling apart. He explained that he had driven from the Cotswolds to see Richard Hammond in Herefordshire and interruptions on the road meant the journey took two hours. The Grand Tour star had his road gridlocked by temporary traffic lights, as well as road closures and roadworks, despite there being no workmen present. He also lamented the week's news after three children were killed in Southport, prompting riots across the country. Jeremy was also left despondent after former BBC newsreader Hugh Edwards pled guilty to three counts of making indecent images of children, and it emerged the BBC knew about his offenses for months. The broadcaster was informed about Edwards' arrest over serious offenses in November 2023, but still continued to pay him. According to the BBC's latest annual report, the disgraced news anchor, 62, was paid at least £475,000 for the year 2023-24, despite being off-air since July 2023. Attempting to explain why the broadcaster continued to pay Edwards, Director General Tim Davey told BBC News on Thursday, We were very shocked. No one knew about the specifics of what we heard over the last few days which have been deeply disturbing. Now, when it comes to the decision we made in November, when we were obviously faced with a difficult decision, we considered it very carefully. The police came to us and gave us information that they had arrested Mr. Edwards, but they wanted to be assured of total confidence. Addressing calls for Edwards to return his salary and give up his pension, Mr. Davy added, these are, unfortunately, the specifics of how it works, that we can't claw back pension. I think when it comes to pay, again, legally challenging, but we'll look at all options. Edwards could face a jail sentence of a maximum of 10 years. He will next appear in court on September 16th.